Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. Uh, so today we will understand the load indication circuit. This is designed using PNP transistor. Okay. So let us say you have designed your power supply, which is rated for 48 volt, one ampere load, and you want to have some load indication. That means when your load is connected, your LED cell be glow, your LED cell be on, and when your load is disconnected, your LED cell be off, right? So this is basically a load indication circuit by using a simple, simple PNP transistor, and maybe you can use two diode, or maybe you can use one diode, right? So this will both will work together. So uh, the objective of this circuit is uh, to minimize the cost uh, by using the traditional open base circuit. So this is very low cost solution here. So let us understand how this circuit works, right? So let us have you, you have some power supply, uh, which is 48 volt, right? And this is your load. R2 is your load that is 48 R. So when this load is connected to your power supply, this LED should glow. And when your load is disconnected to the, your power supply, this LED shall be off. So let us understand how this circuit works. So your emitter is connected to the power source that is 48 volt. This is PNP transistor BC557 and this is the emitter. This is collector is connected via a 4.7 K resistance along with LED. And this is the biasing of base, right? So you can see this is R4. This is pull up. So this is connected to the emitter and one end is connected to the base. This will ensure there is a no false triggering of this PNP transistor, right? Now we have two diode. D1 and D2 that is back to back diode you can use also one diode as well and you can see the potential difference between your input that means your emitter and your output that means your load will be at least greater than the forward voltage drop of VD1 and VD2 right so your em emitter will always see always see that 48 volt and your base of this transistor will see uh, the base of your this transistor will see 48 minus VD1 the voltage drop across this diode plus uh, that means 48 minus VD1 minus VD2 right so current flowing through this diode is according to the load so this 48 volt will appear here and you can see then uh, due to the transistor pnp transistor characteristic when the emitter is 0 0.7 volt greater than the base of the transistor the uh, the pnp transistor turns on so this will turns on and your led will glow okay your led will glow that means when your load is connected when your r2 is connected there is a led glow and when your r2 is disconnected led will be off right so let us now run the simulation and I will show you uh, whether this circuit works as a theoretical analysis, right? So let us run the simulation. So here you can see this is input which is 48 volt and you can see here at output you are having some voltage which is equals to 45 volt, right? And you can see the current load current. It is around 940 milliampere. Now let us say if, if this transistor turned on or not, right? So I will show you the current flowing through this LED. This will ensure, yes, your transistor is turned on, right? So let me probe here. So you can see the current flowing through this transistor is, uh, this transistor Q1 is around 10 milliampere. That means your LED is turned on. Now let me disconnect the load here. So I have disconnected the load here and I will run the simulation again. And you can see this time the current flowing through this diode ID3 is in picoampere, which is very negligible and it could be a leakage current. So 
so hope you understand how this load indication circuit works and how how you can see this is very low cost effective solution by using by replacing the traditional open base circuit in the traditional open base circuit you can you, you have to use either one open or two open along with the power supply of that open and along with that you may need to monitor the current by using shunt register so this is very simple circuit and very uh, cost effective if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video